I've done my uh, my six month plan for now, but I have to set some new goals. I want to get a job again, just live in normal society, not be so anti the system, which I have been for a while. At 21, I got pregnant and had a child. The um, man that I was with wasn't a very nice person, so he was out of the picture, and I pretty much was a solo parent looking after a child. And I was I had a I, I'm a fully qualified beauty therapist. So I was doing a beauty therapy job at the time. But I worked out that you get $20 more after um, all my transportation costs and stuff being on the DPP than actually being with my, with, with, at work. So I thought I'll, do, I'll just go on the DPP then and then I was unmotivated and then I would have a problem with buying things or wanting to go out to drink and paying for the babysitters. So I started thinking and one of my friends suggested I become a working girl. Meth's the best job, a drug for that kind of a work environment because it keeps you up for a long time, a long time and it numbs you out um, and it makes you stop caring and you don't care that you don't care and you just build up the confidence to talk to people as well so it's, it's yeah. perfect. You get an occasional client that would give you drugs which was a bonus in my eyes um, and it wasted time. <laughs> so um, and then he, he said would you like some meth and I was like oh yeah I'm not gonna say no but then he said do you have a pipe and I said no I don't carry a pipe with me at work and because it's not safe to and then he's like oh well I only use needles and I was like oh okay and he said well do you want to do a couple of lines and I was thinking no it hurts too much I'm a wuss and then so he said well do you mind if I do um, shoot up in here and I said I don't have a problem with you do it and then I was curious watching him so I said yeah no I might give it a go and then he said well I'll do you and I was like okay and then I had I had the tourniquet on and everything and I kept on flashing and said no I can't do it and then after a while I said no I'm going to do it and I closed my eyes and let him do it to me and it was the most fantastic thing in the world it was the pipe times 20. So I got into it very deep very fast and my money slowly de depleted during the, that time and then after a while I found that I was working for the drug and I got stressed out I actually discovered picking so I picked like all my skin and I had a really bad problem with that. I've got scars and yeah I, I, I picked the crap out of my face once. So I've had some horrible horrible times and I got to the stage where I was so broken down mentally and physically where I wouldn't even look anyone straight in the eye for a year. It took me a long time to get over that. I was blasting about five times a day and going through about a $500 habit a day at that time. And then my motivation went out the window. I wasn't a good a mother to my daughter or anything. And um, my house got busted. Because I, yeah. Um, and um, I got arrested and taken to the police station on the day before Christmas Eve. I think it was 2007 or 2006. And then the next day, my daughter was taken off me, and the next day I had to go and tell mum at the SIPS care thing, mum and dad, at Christmas Eve that I was a working girl, I was using methamphetamine, and I was also pinning it up the arm, and my daughter was taken off me for those reasons. I lost everything. I lost my daughter, I lost my family, I lost my respect. I lost my reputation, I lost, I lost my whole house, I lost all my furniture, my belongings. I lost my health, I lost half my teeth. If it was around me and people were doing it and they're offering it to me, it does. It would be in the back of my mind, I'm thinking it would be great, but then i would just get back into the way I was eventually. And I, my family and my daughter's too good to pass up these days. But when you look back, you know, to those